In this video, we're going over how to change your Gmail or Google password from your Android phone. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so it can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to go over how to change your Google or Gmail password from your Android phone. The first thing you'll want to do is to go to the Gmail app and Gmail is right here. For some of you guys, it may not be on your home screen. You might have a button, uh, a little app button in the corner that you tap to get to your apps. So check that section. On some phones, it is a swipe up to get to the app section. So however you get to your apps, go to your app section and find the Gmail app. Now disclaimer, uh, for this particular method I'm gonna show you, you do need to have signed into that Gmail account on this phone previously. If you haven't, this may not work for you. So just as an FYI, if this is uh, your Android phone and you currently are signed into that Google account and you just want to change the password, then what I'm going to show you should work for you just as an FYI. Okay. So we're going to go to the upper right corner, tap on this little icon and this icon will take us to our settings. Now this is the uh, Google account. I'm going to be changing the password for. So I'm going to tap on manage your Google account. From here, I'm going to swipe over to security. And then under security, I'm going to go down to signing into Google and it says password underneath tap on there. Now, um, I purposely tried to make this video to accommodate most of the situations you guys will run into, but as another disclaimer, if when you created your Google account, if you tied it to your phone number, there might be an option for them to just send you a text message uh, to verify your account. Um, but for the sake of this, I didn't tie it to a phone number and I didn't tie it to a recovery email just so that I could try to account for all the different scenarios. So you may find this to be even easier when you try to follow these steps, but um, just know that I try to make it so that if you didn't set up any of the backup options, this will still work for you. So the first thing it's going to ask you to do is to enter the current password. Now, if you know the current password, great. You'll just simply, uh, tap in the box here and type in your current password. But what if you're signed into your Google account, but you don't remember the password and that's why you're trying to change it? Well, in this case, what you're going to do is tap on forgot password. From here, it's going to ask you to enter the last password that you remember using with that Google account. Now, if you can remember, if you think you have an idea of the password, enter it in the box right here. But if you don't remember it and have no idea what it is, try tapping on try another way. And Basically, what's cool is it bypasses all of those steps and it says, hey, you can change your password because you signed in on this device before. Save this password so you can easily sign in again going forward. So it takes us right to the screen where we can now change our password. So now I'm going to create a new password. Um, and then once you create your password here, you're going to type it in again at the bottom to confirm it. And you'll hit save and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and create my new password right now. Okay guys. So I have now created my new password. I've entered it in both boxes and now I'm going to hit save password. And that's it. Success. You have officially changed your Google password and now we are good to go. So uh, I hope the video was helpful. I tried to be very specific and I tried to incorporate different scenarios you guys may run into. For example, you don't remember your previous password. Uh, and how to bypass those steps. Now, again, remember, um, hopefully this is a phone that you have already signed into this account successfully. And if so, this will work easy for you to change the password. If you're signing in for the first time and you're then trying to change it, you may run into some challenges there. So, uh, unfortunately this video was not catered to that, uh, audience. Hope you guys find it helpful. Make sure you like favorite and share. If it was helpful, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.